Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Live and in color. Not live streaming, but just live and in color. This is Rusty78609 out boondocking in the middle of nowhere near Capitan, New Mexico, near Ruidoso. And uh, it's a little cool this morning. It's about 45 outside there this morning. I checked the temperature. And uh, yeah, but guess what? I've got my little Max Air Max vent on. The vent's closed, the fan's on, but it's blowing the air down. I've got one burner on the stove on, circulating the air. This is circulating the air. Quite comfortable. <laughs> just cozy, eh? I just love shit out of it. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, boondocking, let's see, you got no hookups, nothing. I'm just on solar. Uh, it's the best camping you can do if you can find a good spot. Anyway, yeah get to that in a second uh, I made me some notes because my mind ain't it's my memory ain't very good anymore but, uh, but anyway today is the day after yesterday the day before tomorrow and this is the new Google Home thing because the Google Home device that I have requires 120 volts I ain't got it <clears throat> I mean I've got an inverter that I, I mean a converter that I could convert 12 volt to 110 by plugging it into that cigarette lighter thing back there by the where the TV should be, but ain't. <clears throat> but I'm not worried about that, so we'll just see how this works. Because I've got, this is my another phone. And uh, so what we'll do is... What's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? Well, this this one this works really good. <laughs> I'm so glad I came up with this. What's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? It's 55 degrees in Bangor right now. Thank you. What's the temperature in Butte, Montana? It's 42 degrees in Butte right now. I mean, that's with the volume all the way up on this phone. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else I got. Oh, tell us a joke. Tell me a joke. It ain't talking. It's just printing it. I just show it. It says, hi, I'm the Google Assistant. Tell me what you think of this one. What's a big dog's favorite pastry? A great Danish. They don't get any better, do they? <laughs> Dang. Oh, that's pretty weak, guys. Anyway, you know, guys, you know, we think about boondocking, and I even get, I think about the cougars and the panthers and the bear and all that crap, and the snakes and the spiders and the scorpions and stuff. <laughs> Can you imagine, what about these guys that hike the Continental Divide Trail by the hundreds every year, sleep on the ground, walk 3,000 miles, and as uh, far as I know, I don't think they've ever had an accident. In the same way with the Pacific Coast Trail and the Appalachian Trail, these people are walking by themselves, most of them, and sleeping on the ground every night for six, five, well, on the CDT, it's five or six months. On the Appalachian Trail, the Pacific Coast Trail, I don't know. So believe me, boondocking is safe, okay? You just have to use common sense, which is not that common, apparently. And did my thing cut off here? No, it didn't. So here we go, guys. We are boondocking here. I've got, oh, it's just so comfy in here. I'm just it, it works. It all works. And as far as the battery, I checked it this morning, 12.8. Well, at full battery, is 12, 100% is 12.8. So I haven't used anything hardly yet. <clears throat> so I may not have to use my solar, but about once ever, who knows, we'll see. I got propane yesterday, and I love this propane place up here in Capitan because they only charge you for the amount of gas they put in the tank. In Texas, where I go around my home base, if you come in with a 20-pound bottle, they charge you for five gallons every time. If they put in three or four or whatever, five, they charge you for five. Cheaters. 
Carrie Mace, good morning, kind sir. Hope you have a fantastic day in your new camp. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, it's not, I didn't hear a sound last night, thank goodness. But I didn't, I didn't have the mind changer in bed with me snuggled up. <laughs> a little paranoid will keep you alive. Anyway, this is on uh, walking with uh, uh, Billy the Kid. Wendy Russell, I enjoyed the walk with Billy. He was one of my favorite history characters. There is one or two pictures of his daily life only. Yeah, I know, he wasn't very photogenic. <clears throat> Actually, he was pretty ugly. Uh, John Gertbach, nice and quiet area. Would be a great place to live, I imagine. Yeah, it would be. Believe me, those houses in that area, they're all historical homes. Or, you know, And believe me, they're expensive. This is Clara McAllister. Good morning, Rusty. Have a good day. Thank you so much for sharing. You're welcome. That's on the new campsite. And I don't know why my screen's getting bigger, but it is. Uh, what is going on here, guys? I did something and the screen went whoop. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, where are we at here? Uh, Tracy Phillips. Have a great update, Rusty. Have a great day, my friend. Thank you, Peggy Parker. I totally understand just wanting to have peace and quiet and alone time. It's good for the soul. Enjoy. I plan to. This is Timmy Kramer. Hello, Timmy Kramer. Absolute K.A. setup. Us men are simple creatures. We don't need much for a, but, but a good meal. Roof over our head and ice cold beer and life is perfect. Uh, anyway, good for you, Timmy. Thank you. Yeah, you got most of it right. <clears throat> John Gertbach, a lovely and quiet spot, it looks like. It is very, 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 very. Yeah, it's nice. And the good thing about it is I'm only about six miles from Capitan, the little town. I got to go in and wash clothes this morning, so I just zip in. And yesterday I got me... Uh, four tacos for they're a dollar and a quarter a piece, but they're loaded. They're good tacos at that little grocery store. They have a deli, and I also got me some uh, uh, chicken enchiladas. Oh no, <laughs> I I can eat cheaper there than I can cooking it almost. Anyway, Doreen Dakin's got a long comment. I'm going to read part of it. Wow, this is on the ghost town. Long time ago. Right, wow, years years since I've been in a ghost town. Gratitude. For taking us along on this adventure great history ah yes it is a beautiful place having grown up on the ocean nova scotia anyway thank you for your videos i'm learning anyway thank you doreen uh, appreciate your comments you have a good day waking the dead that is a, this is just fine fine rusty technology is amazing also the fact i can see your video and respond to it from philly yeah i tell you you know i'm sitting here this morning I got two LED lights on. Uh, I had my phone charging a while ago. I've got my, you may not be able to see it. Uh, no, well, you can't because I ain't got it plugged in. <laughs> That's why you can't see it because it ain't there. Anyway, but anyway, I was charging my phone. I can do all that stuff. But what, I don't like, I just put a little charge on my phone in the RV. And then when I travel into town to get my, to do my washing, I'll charge everything that needs charging so I don't have to use my battery. Anyway, anyway. Uh, Kevin. Rummer, Rummelheart, it would be nice for you to do a short video on dry camping issues such as security, uh, overcrowding, and leaving the casita unattended to go for supply. Well, there's no overcrowding out here boondocking. Uh, the dry camping, there are no real issues unless you make them. Uh, as far as the uh, security, uh, I got the mind changer. I can reach it with my hand right now. Uh, Barbara Samar, but stay safe. Thank you. Sue Polk. Yes, I hear the rain. Have fun and stay safe. Yeah, it was just sprinkle. It sprinkled last night for about an hour. <laughs> God dang. It's just too good, isn't it? I don't want to jinx it, guys, because you never know. This could it, it, this could end pretty quick. I mean, if a lot of people show up or all of a sudden they decide this is a five-person campsite instead of a one, we'll see. Anyway, Night Elf Carrie, tr uh, truly living your life, Rusty. Thank you. Sissy Lou, uh, pleasant video. Thanks. Paul Sizzlard, I guess. It's S-Z-I-L. Zizzlard. Ziz, ziz. Did you say Ziz? I recommend you get a Rode Wireless Go mic and stick it on your talent in the future. I, I, I guess he's talking to somebody else. I don't even know what it is. Thank you. <clears throat> Timeless Laughs. Rusty, hey there. Have you been to Bluff Springs? No. From Cloudcroft, take the Sunspot Highway till you get to a road called Upper Rio Panasco. It's dry camping, beautiful area tucked 
away with a waterfall. Well, if they've got uh, cell phone signal there, I might. But mostly, that's the downside. Most uh, boondocking sites either have very little signal or none. There are tricks, and I do like to have cell phone signal because I can do my videos, and anyway, it just makes it nice because I like to have the comfort of knowing I can use a phone if I want to. Der Trixa, be careful, friend. The aliens are watching you. Maybe other villains stay safe. And greetings from scary German E. German E. Thank you, Der Trixa. Uh, Sherry McKinstry on my casita. Very nice, Rusty. It, it'd be nice to meet you someday. I don't know if you met them yet, but a young couple that camps in the Colorado mountains has one of these, and they sleep in the mountains in the snow. Well, I don't do snow, guys. This is about as snowy as I get right here. <clears throat> I wouldn't want to be... Uh, camping with the temperature much below what it is right now uh, because uh, I like 50 in fact tomorrow and the rest of the, the rest of the 10 day forecast <clears throat> the lows out here are going to be right around 50 and the highs are going to be about 75 to 80 perfect mundo uh, this is sustenance and covering that's the person's name uh, this is on camping is something I did. Height and arthritis have fairly limited what I can do. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. <clears throat> Thank you. Loading, loading, loading. Uh, Julie Stroker Buckle. That's her name. Stroker dash Stoker dash Buckle. Love the sound of the rain pitter patter on your home. Me too. Carol Erickson. Thank you for sharing how you feel. Your experience in boondocking so great. Yeah, I like boondocking. I just, I just don't have a lot of luck finding a good spot. But hopefully this will work out. Hopefully. Anyway, uh, uh, John B. Hello, Rusty. Nice camp that looks like Sasquatch country. Eyes, ears open, night bleeding. Now, if somebody would have dropped a pin within a hundred yards of my camper, I'd have heard it. Rambler forty two. Yo, Rusty. You say your Amazon commission has dropped. I know why. Perhaps a lot of your viewers have saved your old link in their bookmark. No, that's fine. You can use the old links. Don't worry about that. Uh, it's just, uh, you know, it's just in the future they wanted me to use the, uh, the uh, not the link to Amazon homepage. And no, they didn't cut it off though. So those old links should still work. Uh, Andrew Vanka, one word, Rusty Solitude, gotta love it, nothing better, enjoy your peace and quiet, you bet, thank you Andrew, Billy K. Hey Rusty, question, how close is the site YouTube money calculator to your real situation? If it's true, you're loaded. Well, I can tell you right now, it ain't true, because <laughs> I ain't loaded. <laughs> I get loaded about three or four o'clock, rather. No, that, I don't know what that YouTube money calculator is. Uh, I've never used it, but no, it's a, it's about 0 0.002 cents per view, 0 0.002, so you'll have to figure that out. <clears throat> Gale Resources, the mind changer, love it, enjoy that great old solitude and nature, you bet. Zeke Hooper, Zeke Hooper, Oregon, it's three fifty a gallon? Whoa, thought I had it bad. Bob Bell, real life enjoyed. Heck, in Texas, it, uh, we're at my home base. It's 229 or 239. Bob Bell, real life enjoyed. Yep, yep, yep. Jose Luis Rodriguez. <clears throat> On the solo lady, uh, that was uh, Jana. Uh, she is a uh, frugal, frugal RV gal. <clears throat> Rusty, I think this is a great video. I'm glad at least somebody's doing interviews with other people living motorhomes, truck cameras. Great to find out how the people do it, keep up the work. I would appreciate it if you... Oh, so if you find somebody living in a box truck, they converted. Okay, well, if I see them, I'll do it. My name is Lewis. Hello, Lewis. My name's Rusty. Jazzman, hi back at you, bud. Hi to you, Jazzman. Rosita Garcia, Hi, Rusty. I like watching your videos and hearing you speak, sp especially at the end of each video, giving us all those recommendations. You should find yourself a companion to be partners in crime. Where am I going to put them? I've got a companion. I've got a lot of them. Oh, it reminds me. This is uh, Trenton Clump. Uh, no, it's just an it. Uh, no special stuff about that. 
Uh, this is a miniature travel trailer somebody sent me. This is olive oil. There's a companion right there, old skinny bean waving at you. And that is a bumper sticker with a the jalapeno on it. it says Native Texan. That is a MiFi jet pack from Verizon. That's how I get my internet and do my videos, upload them and stuff. That's a 7730L. That is a five euro note. Underneath is a $2 bill that you can't hardly see. Those are real bananas. That is olive oil's bra on the bottom. And that top thing is an Eva Dry dehumidifier. And that's all I can show you back there. <clears throat> anyway, that's that. Uh, Susan for Yahusha. Okay. I'm totally new to this, but oh, do I know any spots, BLM, good camping spots in north central Colorado? Possibly, yeah. Just go uh, to uh, freecamping.net and they'll show them to you. H.C. Halbert. How long can one stay there full time? Or no, you can't full time there. You can stay. You can stay there uh, no more than 14 consecutive days, and then you must move. You can stay 14 consecutive days in a 30-day period. That's the key word there is consecutive. Mary Lee McPherson, I think Karen is fabulous and has a kind spirit, safe travels from Canada. Well, thank you, Mary Lee McPherson. Stephen, be safe and keep on keeping on. I'm doing it. Scotty Thompson, how are you doing, Scotty? Cool video talk, Rusty. Cool video talk, Rusty. Thank you, Scotty. Scotty. This is Shar Kane. Uh, enjoy your life one day at a time. Love that. Well, yeah, you can't enjoy it two days at a time, can you? I don't think. Uh, anyway, let's go. <clears throat> Get it going, Rusty. Go, boy. Cinnamon Girl, I enjoy beer 30 as much as you do, and I never have a beer. Cheers, big guy. Yeah, well, yesterday I was kind of in a mood, and I did a video right at the end of the day because I didn't have anything else to do, mainly, but I just wanted to do one. <laughs> Scotty Thompson, it's going to be nice, okay weather Tuesday, today, Wednesday, in Superior, Wisconsin. Rusty, LOL. Thank you, Scotty Thompson. And here's Scott, here's my man, PJ Bikerful. Simon and Garfunkel, The Sounds of Silence. Good song. He left a link to it. Thank you, PJ. That's one of my all time favorite songs. Roy Anderson, for anybody that has worked many years and caught in the and caught in the rat race, where you're at is freedom. Well, you know, you still have to be careful, guys. You can't just anyway, you gotta use common sense. You have to kind of watch around you. You know, you don't want to you don't want to buy, you don't want to walk up on a, on animals. Uh, you want to let them know. Drag your feet or whistle or whatever you need. If you have a a bear bell, wear it and let it ring and make all kind of noise. All this crap about being quiet when you're out in the country. No, wrong. Be no, be a little noisy when you're moving around because the animals will hear you coming. They can get out of the way. Carl T. Can't wait to see your boondocking site, Rusty. It's coming up today. Scotty Thompson, cool comment call, Rusty. MN Patriot, great video, Rusty. Every time I boondock, I feel like I'm cheating the system. Well, I don't feel like I'm cheating the system. I feel like I'm having fun. <clears throat> Maybe I am cheating the system a little bit. We'll do a couple more and we'll shut it down. Keith Pendergraft, I always love the uplifting message at the end of the video, no matter how many times I've heard it, and it seems I always get a smile on my face. It's genuine. Thank you, Rusty. Well, thank you, Keith. Yeah, that, those are just little tips to help you stay a little healthier without having to go to a doctor. All those are free. Free, free, free. Darlene Huth, love it. My son is thinking about an Oliver Lee camp. It's thinking about Oliver Lee campsites. Wahoo. Yeah, the, the Oliver Lee is a nice campground. It's a state park near Alamogordo. I uh, spent, like uh, hell, two or three weeks there already this year. Uh, Danny Monk won. What, what? Want what you but. Sounds like a philosophy of its own, Rusty. You're a wise man. I always enjoy your videos. Well, I'm glad you do, Danny. Thank you very much. Joe Ann H. Rusty, love, love, love it. Nothing like a cold beer and sitting back and listening to the raindrops hitting on the roof. You bet. Enjoy, Rusty. Thank you, Joe M. Uh, anyway, Timmy Kramer, peace, quiet, and freedom, my brother. Timmy C., Mimi Mick. Rusty, I'm sure you know better than I do about bears, cats, Romer. Be safe and enjoy. I don't know much about them. I just know I want to stay out of their way. <clears throat> this is the last one. Doreen Dakin says, Oh, thank you for sharing this beautiful walk. I enjoyed every minute of this trail. I'm now going to add it to my t add it on my to-do list. Sure can understand Billy being attracted to you. Your your light. And again, thanks for sharing with all of us that these are my favorite videos. Well, thank you, Doreen Dakin. Anyway, having said that, let's see if we can get a joke out of this thing here. 
another. Th 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 I thought they'd talk it, but it won't. Tell me a joke. It, it doesn't talk it. It just get, it lets you read it. Why did the banker switch careers? She lost interest. Okay, those are biggies. Big old big o's. <laughs> I'm getting giddy out here, guys. I got to get around humanity. I got to go wash clothes today. But anyway, having said that, what else? Thumbs up, Carpe Diem, adios, bye, 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 anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all my videos. Why? Because I get a small commission. doesn't cost you one penny. Some of y'all have been using the link, I noticed, and I appreciate it very much. For those of you that are using it and have used it, pat, 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 thank you. <clears throat> Even though I have to direct you to a product, be not dismayed. If you don't want that product, just continue shopping, buy whatever you want, and I'll still get a commission if it's during that shopping session. What else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you won't want to eat so much. That is, means you won't want to snack. What else? Take deep breaths. <sighs> breathe in really deep. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress and that will lower your blood pressure and that's good for you. What else? Stretch, 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 swivel, 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 walk, 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 exercise your body once or twice a day. Why? Because you'll feel better and you may live a little longer because of it. What else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, all that stuff. And all those little neurons up there just going, just making all kind of thoughts and consciousness and all kind of stuff. Put in good ingredients. Pretty simple stuff, isn't it? Then you'll feel good, sleep good. Who knows what all that? Anyway, having said that, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, enjoy the, your day today, and I'll enjoy mine. And I'll post a video or two today, just short ones, just for the hell of it. Anyway, guys, carry on. Adios. Bye-bye.